going to be teaching you how to make a moon glow. There are many different ways to make a moon glow. And lots of people, they see the moon glow and they think to themselves, how can I have a moon glow? They are so beautiful. The easiest way to make a moon glow is to take a moon glow and breathe it to another moon glow. And then you get all moon glows. But the moon glow boa, it costs $1,500. For $5, I can get three churros. For the cost of one moon glow, I could have 900 churros. So, guess where I spend my money? I got too many churros. If you don't have that much money, like me, I did not have the money to buy two moon glows. But I had the time to wait for little baby snakes to grow until they were big enough to make the moon glow. This is Poa. He is my first large boa constrictor and they are from Colombia. Niña, ¿qué te pasa? Okay, back to business. To make the moon glow, we need three genes. We need the hypo gene. This over here is the hypo gene. Then we need the albino gene. This one over here is the albino gene. And last. We need the energy. This is the energy. Energy means no red pigment. So if you see this snake, it has no red pigment. The hypogene has more red. The albino gene has no black. And the energy gene, no red. And when we have all three genes together, we get the moon glow. The albino is like this, all by itself. But to make it nice and simple for you, if we want to make the moon glow, we need all three genes. The hypo, the albino, and the anery. One snake must be carrying all three. And one snake has to be carrying the anery and the albino. It doesn't have to show albino or anery, but it has to carry it. Hypo only needs to be on one side because hypo passes on to about 50% of the babies. You see this snake, the hypo outside, inside, anery, het anery, because the anery is hiding inside and the albino is hiding inside, but they are both there. If they are not there, then we cannot make the moon glow. To make a moon glow, a cheapy way, a hypo, anery, albino. So this snake is only showing the hypo, but it is carrying the anery and the albino inside. And now you breed this with a snake carrying anery and albino. So you could breed it with a normal, like this one, that has albino and anery, then together can make the moon glow. The chances would be very low. I believe one in 16. Another way I can take the hypo with albino and anery and put it to a anery with albino or an albino with anery with an anery that is carrying albino like this one. That is how I made my moon glow. By putting together the anery carrying the albino with the salmon that carries the albino and the anery. Here, the moon glow, it has the hypo. The sun glow, it has the hypo. The ghost, it has the hypo. On one side, whether it be the male or the female, you need to have the hypo. It also has to have the albino and the anery. On the other side, all you need is het anery, het albino, or anery het albino, 
or Albino hit Anery. But you need to have the Anery and Albino on both sides, hitting or showing. Remember, the Hypo and the Albino is called a Sun Glow. See? Sun Glow. Albino y Hypo. Any Sun Glow carrying the Anery, you can breed it to any snake carrying the Anery and the Albino. Showing or hiding, and you can make moon glow. More so, the albino with this hypo is called a sun glow, and the albino and anery this is called a ghost. The ghost is anery and hypo. A ghost, ghost is the hypo and the anery, but it has to be carrying the albino, so you can see. The hypo would make a more red snake like this one, but because it has anery, anery gets rid of all the red. And that is how we get the ghost. You rather play Super Smash Bros than learn about snakes with Puppy? Oh, you see the face she is giving me? <gasps> so, sometimes people get confused. They say, I have anery hit snow. Why? Why they say that? The anery hit albino is hit snow because anery and albino together showing make a snow. You can call it sun glow hit anery or you call it the sun glow hit moon glow. So when you see people have snake it says hit moon glow. It means it has the genes to make the moon glow. Inside is anery. It has to be carrying anery. Not all sun glows. A carrying anery. So this would be called a sun glow hit moon glow because it's carrying all three genes you need to make the moon glow. And if it has the hit snow, it has the genes to make the snow. This sun glow, if I put this sun glow with this anery or any snake that has anery and albino showing it or hiding it, then I can make a moon glow. Another way, and this will give me higher results because automatically every baby is going to carry the albino gene. 50% of the babies are going to carry the hypo gene. So, albino uh, hypo is called sun glow. Anery and hypo is called ghost. But this snake, the ghost, needs to carry the albino to make the moon glow and this snake the sun glow needs to be carrying the anery to make the moon glow if either of these snakes is not carrying the other recessive gene no moon glow a ghost carrying the albino and breed it to anything carrying the albino and the anery so, i hope now you understand how to make the moon glow it's a little bit confusing, I know. It's hard to show you. But now I hope with all the visuals and all the snakes, you can understand how you too can make a moon glow. Remember to like and subscribe. I have to take care of my family and all of my snakes. So, your support is very good for me and my little webita here. Okay? Okay. You like the snake? Yes, we like the snake. Say bye bye to the snake. Bye bye. Good, good, good. Now we say goodbye to everyone. Say ciao. Ciao. Goodbye, everyone.